Hey everybody, welcome back to another cryptocurrency news article. This one's coming from Crypto Briefing and Binance helps Israel freeze Hamas crypto accounts. So yeah, the U.S. labels Hamas a terrorist organization subject to Treasury Department sanctions blocking its access to banking. My only question is like, how do they know these people are Hamas? So I don't know, maybe this article goes over it, so let's find out. So crypto exchange Binance assisted Israeli authorities in freezing crypto accounts affiliated with the Palestinian militant group Hamas. The Israel police reported today that over the past few days, our team has been working in real time around the clock to support ongoing efforts, a Binance spokesperson told the Wall Street Journal regarding the latest account freezes. The police's cyber unit, the Hav 433, worked with Israeli's National Bureau for counterterrorist financing and other intelligence agencies to identify and freeze Hamas accounts that were being used to crowdfund donations via social media campaigns. Now, Hamas launched a fundraising campaign on social media asking the public to deposit crypto coins into its account. The police statement said, according to a translation by Crypto Briefing, the cyber unit and NBCTF acted immediately and located the accounts and froze them with the assistance of the Binance Crypto Exchange. Now, this isn't the first time that Binance has aided Israeli authorities. Israeli officials had previously seized around 190 Binance accounts associated with terrorist groups since 2021. Last June, Binance worked with Israeli to dismantle a terrorism financing operation linked to Iran's Quds Force and Hezbollah. The exchange stated that crypto analytics firm BitOK estimated that wallets connected to Hamas received approximately $41 million between August of 2021 and June of this year. The cooperation comes as Binance faces growing regulatory scrutiny globally in March, and the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission sued Binance for violations that hinted at potential criminal activity, including money laundering. So I guess that is how they found them. Basically, Hamas like posted a, just a public address, like, hey, send your funds here, and then whoever did send funds had their accounts frozen and blocked. So just another reason... Well, not just if you're for it, but just, just another reason to like not keep your coins on exchange. Not because of all of this, but just because the exchanges have the ability to freeze your account if you do something that they do not like. So it doesn't matter if it resolves this, if it was with the 2020 elections, or if it was with the, what was before that, I don't know. But it just, it just shows you don't keep your coins on exchanges because if it gets frozen, basically it, that's just it. You're stuck. So move them to a safe place and in your own possession. So if you guys enjoyed this article, read through, smash that thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.